Hi there, I saw the most wonderful recipe on TikTok today. It is a cloud and bread. And what's better than cloudy bread? You can add different colors, make different shapes. Oh, I'm so excited to start this. All you need is three simple ingredients, sugar, cornstarch, and eggs. And you can add different essences if you want to flavor them. But I just have vanilla extract just in case I want to make it a little extra vanilla-y, you know? I am going to make three different clouds, so I have nine eggs. You're going to need some food coloring if you want to make them pretty. You're going to need some measuring spoons. You're going to need a whisk and some bowls. Make sure your oven is turned on to 300 Fahrenheit. While that's preheating, we're gonna start whisking our eggs. And that's why I have two bowls here. Because we're gonna need to separate our eggs. I'm scared for this part the most. I have my trusty knife because that's how I break my eggs. Oh my god, oh my god. Ugh. I remember like my mom doing this, just like playing with the yolk non-stop. Ooh, I think I got a perfect one. And now we just put the yolk in. No egg whites, this is a perfect yolk. You can't see your reflection in the bowl, right? So we're gonna need to do this three times per cloud. So I'm gonna do this again. I don't wanna jinx myself, but I'm really good at this. Ugh. Ugh. The feeling of egg whites is so gross. The third egg. Whoa, that was a perfect pour. Look at this, three egg yolks that we don't need. I decided I'm gonna separate all three sets at one time because then I can add different colorings and go into the oven at exactly the same time. That's a fail, massive fail. I'm gonna do this, off you go. I'm sorry, little egg. You're gonna have to become an omelet tomorrow for breakfast. Hear me, it's like I'm gonna get an extra egg. Oh, we got our spare little egg. We're gonna move our egg yolks, rinse our hands, and check for shells. No shells. <laughs> I found a shell. This is the intruder. We don't want you anymore. Anyway, we're gonna whisk these just a bit, and then we're gonna add sugar and cornstarch. This is not good for my carpal tunnel. They just say whisk it, and a whisk it. Maybe I need to make a, like a whisking song. Oh, it's already getting bubbly. I don't know, like, what's the method? Like, do you sh whisk it from the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist? I remember my mom, like, whisking these things with a fork. What a boss. Now I'm gonna add some sugar. Each one of these, this is like a spoonful. It's 15 grams, so we're gonna need two of these. First, I'm gonna make sure this is sugar. Ugh, it's salt. It's actually salt. Give me a second, technical difficulties. <laughs> I got the sugar. That was dangerous. Good thing I checked. This is why you should always taste your sugars and salts. So you need 30 grams of sugar. They never tell you how long to whisk for. They say until tough peaks, until it's stiff, until you can put it over your head and then it doesn't drip on you. It needs to get like a little more white before we add the cornstarch. And I think the cornstarch is what lets it keep its shape so we can try to make that cloudy shape. Now when it turns white like this, that's when we add the cornstarch. We're gonna add 10 grams of cornstarch. So which one's 10 gram? This is 2.5. This is one gram, God no. Five grams, so two of these. And I'm pretty sure this says cornstarch from Canada. One, two, back to whipping. Now, you know, I feel like there should be an easier way to do this. And I kind of feel like I have a life hack for this, a kitchen hack, a whipping hack. It's called a blue. It's called a hand mixer. Give me a sec. What, what is this? What is this cool contraption? I didn't even know this was a thing. Let's see how fast this gets it done. Wow, and the wrist doesn't hurt, nothing hurts. I do it on a very low setting because I feel like your hands can only handle it on a low setting. Slowly getting stiffer. Oh, hi, are you looking for me? I'm just mixing. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm gonna add food coloring now while it still has a little ways to go so we can mix the coloring well, you know, so it's still like liquidy. So I'm gonna add a little bit of teal. Do we want regular clouds or unicorn clouds? I'm gonna add one drop because I want it to be a baby blue cloud. And I got food coloring on me. Be careful, guys. Wear an apron when you do this. Life hack. The silliest thing ever. Now I have like blue spots everywhere, but you know what? Whatever. I think food coloring comes off, right? Okay, so we have that one drop of blue everywhere. So we're gonna start at a low setting. I think they're ready. Nice. Do you think we can just keep them until we do all the others? I decided that I'm going to put one in the oven first just to test this. I hope I didn't over whip it. So I have my spatula. I want to make sure there's no liquid in it. Oh, it looks cloudy. Yeah, it's sitting on top of each other. Looks moldable. I have my spoon. We're going to shape this. Come on, be a cloud. Be a lovely cloud. Make it smooth. And let's try to give it like cloud peaks. We're going to curve it, you know? 
I feel like I'm giving it like a butt shape. <laughs> Ooh, that looks cloudy. We're getting there. So it looks like this on both sides. You see the top cloudy shape and it's not moving? That's what it should be like, I think. Let's go to the oven. Please cook my little cloud. Oh wow, it feels like it already deflated. We're gonna put it on 25 minutes. Now we're making the pink one. I'm going to add sugar now. There you go. That's it. It's always better when you add it little by little. Maybe that was the problem with the other one and that's why it took so long. Let's put it on high. Let's pack this baby up. Now we're gonna add some cornstarch. I'm gonna need 10 grams of cornstarch. Five and five. Yeah. One little drop. Yes. Oh, I think some extra. No! I'm just gonna leave you right there. You stay. It's a bad boy. Oh, what a beautiful color. Hopefully both of these take me exactly 25 minutes. Once that one's finished, we can pop these two in. So I'm thinking for the pink one, I'm going to add some vanilla extract because I want it to be sweeter. Because it's pink, we're gonna make it the shape of a heart. But you need to add very little. Oh my God, I'm scared. Maybe I shouldn't do it on top. Oh, I think that's good. It's a good amount. Maybe. If it's too sweet and I won't be able to finish this, we'll know why. Okay, so it's like four drops. Back on strong setting. I wanna whip this fast. Should we add more pink? Okay, you made your return. You great magenta, you. There, that's the pink we wanted. It looks like whipped cream. So I stopped mixing for a bit. They are stiff, but when you go like, oh! Actually, no, I think it's perfectly ready. Look, it doesn't move when you go like this. Oh my god, let's do the peak test. Oh no, it just moved. A little more whip and then we'll do the peak test. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna quickly try this. One, two, three. Yeah! This one's finished. Okay guys, this is our last one and this is the one that has a little bit of egg yolk. You see the, the yellow swimming around in there? That was a one little accident we had. So we have yellow, we have navy, we have neon, red, dark green, peach. We already did blue and things. We can do like a nice creamy yellow. It's just gonna look like a regular old bread. Maybe peach, but it might be too close to pink. How about we do like a very neon toxic looking one. So I rinsed this so it's clean. Stick this in. Once it's a little foamy. We're gonna add 30 grams of sugar again. Sugar time! Multitasking. I feel like an octopus. Get in there, you. Now another. Whoa! We're done with the sugar. I feel like sugar helps it whip faster and more sticky. Now we're adding cornstarch, 10 grams. And one more. Food coloring time. Whoa, that one was neat. I want to add a lot of neon, so we pretty much like poop it out, you know? Look how neon-y that is. That looks toxic, like a Shrek. I've been trying to whip this for about 10 minutes, and it's still so liquidy. But I feel like we can save this, because I don't want to waste eggs. I'm going to add more sugar. We're just going to try to DIY this. I'm going to add 30 more grams of sugar, just eyeballing this, and maybe some more cornstarch. Oh my god, please work. Oh, it's already creamier. Maybe because I added so much like powdered stuff to it. We'll give it five more minutes, and if it doesn't whip then it's garbage. Failed. Our first fail, guys. Because we had even a little trace of egg yolk in there, it refused to whip up. Apparently, I learned some things. Eggs are supposed to be at room temperature for best whippage. This one, it had cold eggs, and not just cold eggs, it also had a little bit of yolk inside. So we just have this like pretty liquidy neon thing. I don't know how we can fix it. I'm just gonna leave that and maybe Google make a cake out of it or something. But yeah, we're gonna put this to the side. We have our pink. I think we might need to whip it a bit some more. So I'm just gonna quickly rinse these. Our blue cloud is almost finished. There's three minutes left. I'm so excited to eat it. I'm gonna have like jam and things. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on. Yay! Let's hope it actually is finished. Ignore my dirty oven. I was making something and it exploded. Look at this. It's beautiful. Stay. Don't move. I'm gonna cut it. Bruh. All right. Peculiar. It's fine, right? As long as like the bottom has it. Seems a little liquidy because I let it sit. Please, egg. Stay peaked. We did the test with you after all. You were the one. You were the winner. Let's make you into a heart. Wow, it's already looking like a heart. This is a loving little bread. You give this to your loved one, like a cute little kawaii dessert. All right, let's finish the sharpen the shape to make it perfect. Oh, that's so pretty. That is actual perfection. I'm so proud of myself. That's a heart. That's a more. Let's put this in the oven. While I put that in the oven, this seems to kind of deflate a bit. Feel the texture, like it's really spongy and nice. Like boom, boom, boom. A little toasty on the outside. Let's see if I can pull it off like bread. Looks like a Japanese pancake. Whoa, look at the underside. It's beautiful. 
It smells so good. I love it. it kind of looks like a cloud, right? Floating cloud. I think in a very polluted city where it took up a lot of like pollution. And then the inside is like, please. While the pink heart cooks, we're gonna finally rip this bad boy. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Look how beautiful it is. So fluffy. I'm gonna try it now. I hope it's not raw. Mmm, that's delicious. Like the crust sticks to the top of your mouth, but it's so delicious. Oh, look, it's stuck to my finger. This is gonna be my new breakfast. I love it. Get a little dip, some chocolate or vanilla dip, and you go, mm. can't wait for the hard. Add some vanilla extract to it. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm so excited. This one looks perfect. Look at it. It's a perfect heart and it's still a little pink. Look how perfect it is. There's like some sort of leakage situation right here. I don't know what this is. Kind of like jello-y. Maybe it's still a little raw inside? No, like the texture seems bouncy, bouncy. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Look at this. It's like a real heart. Let's pull this off. Oh, maybe I'll let it cool a bit. I feel like technically you're supposed to cool whipped eggs like meringue. You cool it off for a while. You leave the oven half open with like you know a wooden stick inside so the air slowly spreads out that way the meringue just doesn't crash i think this is why egg whites maybe kind of like just fall flat as soon as you take them out but i could be wrong seems perfectly brown i don't know what this whole pink thing is though but it's a beauty this is my heart to you guys let's rip this oh so pretty such a pretty pink oh the steam coming off of it absolutely stunning so i think maybe that caramelizing could be vanilla extract maybe let's do this maybe this one will be sweeter it should be it's a little more eggy maybe because i over whipped it so delicious oh my god so good i'm obsessed and look at the colors they're like beautiful this definitely leaves your hands sticky though all in all i would say this was a success one only failed because i messed up the egg separation but we got a pink heart we got a blue cloud that i already feasted upon and i would say i would definitely make this for breakfast again i hope you guys enjoyed this little tiktok recipe that we did if you enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe and hit the notification bell i'll see you guys later